I think it's safe to rest here now. Filled with equal parts compassion and passion, always ready to boldly rescue anyone from the perils of the munchies. Delectable, ineffable, Dohalim pancakes! Get them while they're hot! That's quite the sales pitch. This is all new to me as well, I assure you. Why, if it isn't Lord Dohalim himself! Care for a pancake, my lord? Might as well have some while we're here. Indeed. However, I'm not sure how I feel about eating my own visage in front of the populace. At least let me show you how to make them! I'll also teach you the most important part! How to draw Lord Dohalim! Oh, this sounds like pure gold. I'm game. <laughs> We should make some pancakes right now. They were drawing Dohalim's face back there. That seems like a handy trick to keep in your back pocket. The recipe's light on ingredients, and a little extra work could bring the flavor right out. Great! Then let's make some together. Our very own personalized pancakes. Sure. I got this. You're out, Alfin. I don't need spicy pancakes. <sighs> You're out too, Kisara. You'd win easily. Win what? Is it a competition? Yes! A contest between me, Xi'an, and Dohalim. Wait, what? I'm more of an eating specialist? You can say that again. Ha! <laughs> I accept any and all challenges. Great! Then I'll be the judge. I can gather the ingredients. Okay, then it's on! Hey, uh, what about me? Maybe we'll have some luck finding what we need at the farm. Finally made it. <laughs> right. Thanks. Oh. Whoa! Welcome, ladies and gentlemen! It's time to find out once and for all whose pancakes reign supreme! I guess he's emceeing now. Let's hear some thoughts from Kisara, our judge! Indeed. This is a highly eclectic group of competitors. I look forward to seeing what they produce for us today. Expectations sure are running high! Ah! And here comes Xion with her entry! I applied all of my know-how to this, and put extra care into the visual presentation. Well... that's bold. Nothing wrong with Xion holding her head high. Let's see how it tastes. <laughs> hmm? What? I mixed in some candy that tingles the tongue. Oh, um, I see. It's creative. I'll give it that. But it's quite, uh, a mouthful, as it were. It, it might be too sweet. Well, I should hope so. I put in as much food and sugar as I could. It should provide three days' worth of nourishment. Uh, three days' worth? Our judge has been left stunned! And not in a good way. Now it's time for the Lord himself! Here is what I made. What, what the? Dohalim pancakes! I can't believe he actually did the art. Go on, relish my crowning achievement to your heart's content. Well, don't mind if I do. Not even a moment's pause. Dohalim, there's some strange liquid leaking out of this. 
Indeed. I gather delicacies the world over and pack them all in. That's what makes my masterpiece so good. Pancakes are overrated anyways. And you're out. Defeat. And just like that, his lordship is disqualified! Ah, uh, what do I do? I... I just made regular old pancakes. They're both just so eccentric, and mine is so... How am I supposed to follow their acts? Rinwell, you're up! Okay, okay, I'm coming. Just putting on some finishing touches. Cool. Oh, oodle. No, oh, you, your face. Who? Are you sure? Well, okay. I, I'll never forget you, Hoodle. <laughs> Huh? Okay, made it. Here you go. Oh no, you didn't. Huh? <laughs> uh, never mind. Let's see what Judge Kisara thinks. Hmm, let's see. It's nice and soft around the edges, and yet... There's a hoodle face firmly imprinted in the middle. The contrast of fluffiness and firmness is simply fascinating. And there's a sweet texture that's nicely offset by the jam's tartness. That, and it's the strangest thing, it gives me this odd sense of ardor and conviction. I give this a perfect winning score. Renwell takes the title! Looks like you reign supreme over Pancakedom. <sighs> I don't understand. I thought I'd gotten the look and taste perfect. <sighs> what could I have done wrong? Huh? Where's Kisara? She took off running to burn off the food she ate. I may have done her a disservice. I guess I was only thinking about what I personally would want to eat. You know, these other ones are actually pretty good. I could go for more of this texture and salty sweetness. I agree. Still, they pale next to Rinwell's pancakes. Yeah, no question there. In fact, I would love to partake in them again sometime. <coughs> hmm? Whatever gave it such a fright? Uh... Worry about it. I'll draw all of your faces next time. I can't wait. You just draw them, right? Finally made it. Okay, whose turn is it to cook today? Nice try, Law. We all know it's your turn. Damn, was I that obvious? All right, guess I'll get to it. Wait, before you get started. Remember when the three of us fixed pancakes back on the farm? I remember how weirdly proud you were of yours. Wait, don't tell me you want a rematch. Oh, no, nothing like that. It's just, I've been thinking about something ever since that day. I used every trick in the book to make the perfect pancake, and yet... You're wondering why you lost, right? Pretty sure it's because you pumped Isara here with enough sugar to give a zoogle a... Anyways... I've come up with a recipe, and was hoping you guys could taste them and tell me what you think. All right. I'm up for round two. Challenge accepted. Wait, are we all doing this? 
Uh, come on. Shihan's clearly put a lot of work into this. I'm sure they'll be great. Right, everyone? <sighs> Thanks. Okay, wait here. I'll have them fixed up in just a few moments. Thanks for waiting, everyone. Here are your pancakes. I can't wait. Let's see how they taste. <sighs> <clears throat> Damn. The way these spices jump about in your mouth, you'd think they'd cancel each other out, but somehow they work brilliantly. They're so sweet, I feel like they'll melt in my mouth. Every bite makes me feel like I'm in heaven. Holy crap! These are so rich, just the way I like them! I can't stop stuffing them in my face! You chose the perfect ingredients and heated them just enough to bring out their flavor. Amazing! The presentation is simply exquisite, and they have such a pure, refined taste to them as well. They're, They're perfect. perfect! Shion, these pancakes are amazing! Really? I'm so glad they turned out well. Although, don't we all seem to have different impressions of how they actually taste? You're right. It's like everyone was eating something completely different. Here, let me take a bite of yours, Alfin. It's true. I fine-tuned them to suit each person's unique tastes. <laughs> You did that for everyone's pancakes? That must have been a lot of extra work. It was, but I learned something important in doing so. You see, I was so focused on trying to make something that I thought would please people, that I forgot to consider who I was actually serving. Here, water! <laughs> Thanks, Renwell. I thought I was a goner. What's important as a cook isn't what I want people to feel about my food. It's about accommodating what they're looking for in a meal. Well said, Xion. I'm so proud of you for figuring that out. No recipe is complete without love and care for whoever's eating it. Those alone make a dish taste better than any spice could. So one might say that what makes a meal are both those who prepare it and those who eat it, rather than the food alone. How insightful! You've grown so much as a cook, Xion. I have nothing left to teach you. Oh, thank you, Master. Thank you so much! <sighs> <sighs>